that in? Oh, no, let me call it in. Dispatch is car 24. We have visual on unit 55. Looks abandoned over. Copy that over. Mother oh! Christ! Shit, they're behind us! We got it. Just go. Now, now! Dispatch, this is car 24. We are open. Car 24. What's going on? Fuck. Out there? Dispatch, this is car uh, 24. We are. Oh, we gotta get back. Oh, back, back up. Back up. Oh, Hi everyone, today we'll be running through the second story mission of the Division, the Lincoln Tunnel Checkpoint. Uh, what you just saw is an intel video you get when you complete this mission. There's another one that I'll play for you after we actually beat it. Captain, we're getting overrun! They're killing everyone in sight! Damn it, if they blow open the floodgates then... Captain, they've got a... This tunnel is the major supply line for food, meds, and weapons from the outside world. But we've got a group of rioters with explosives trying it's to break through the like quarantine you. there. The JCF garrison is doing its best to hold the line, but they're weakening. And if the rioters blast through the floodgates, the tunnel floods, the supply lines cut, and a whole lot of people die. We've got confirmation that Benitez is there in the thick of it. We need that location secured, and Benitez back here at base. Captain Benitez requesting immediate support at the Lincoln Tunnel checkpoint. These assholes are storming the blockade! If they blow the floodgates, they could put this whole thing underwater. So I do have a marksman rifle or a sniper equipped in my secondary weapon slot. There are generally two types of snipers in this game. One type has medium damage and a large magazine, while the other has high damage and a small magazine. Uh, I have the first type that allows you to be more reckless with how you use it since you don't need to reload as often. Now, with being a more reckless shot comes the danger of running out of ammo since the two sniper types don't directly affect your maximum ammo capacity, so using the sniper with a smaller magazine would do more damage over time and you would be able to go much longer without needing to restock on ammo, but the other sniper will do more damage in a small amount of time. Captain! They're breaking for the tunnel! They're shooting everyone in sight! Jesus, it's like getting swarmed by locusts! Don't let them through! And you should also keep in mind that we are only level 6 at the moment, and restock chests are bountiful in this stage of the game, making the Quick Sniper the optimal choice in my opinion.
Captain Benitez, this is Fei Lau. We are division agents, and we have eliminated the threat to the perimeter. I'm patching you into our comms so you can direct support to where we're needed. That's good news, but we still got plenty of bad. Some of those bastards made it through when they're planting explosives on the tunnel floodgates. They're trying to get out come hell or high water. If those bombs go off, you know which one we're gonna get. Another thing that can help you while sniping is a silencer. Uh, they give you a stat called Reduced Threat, which is most noticeable when you're playing with friends, as the hostiles will tend to target the person who poses the most threat first. So you can organize with your team if you want someone to be a tank of sorts and attract all the attention by getting them to equip a muzzle mod that provides increased threat. So the two stats together can help you keep your teammates with low stamina safer by diverting unwanted focus fire away from them. inbound on your position. too close. They don't care who they kill to get what they want. Come on up, and I'll meet you in the control center. So I personally dislike using the zoom feature on my sniper, or any other gun for that matter. I just find it's easier to shoot an enemy while not zoomed. So when I put a scope mod on my sniper, I'm only thinking about the stat bonuses it provides, like crit chance and headshot damage. And on that note, one stat that I would avoid putting on a sniper is optimal range. Uh, you might be thinking, wouldn't I want my sniper to be effective at a far distance? And yes, that's true, and it will still do full damage to any enemy you can see without a range boost, because there is a limit to how far the game will render enemies away from you, and every sniper I've seen has exceeded that limit. So maybe if you're playing on a PC, you'll encounter a time when you can see farther than your sniper can shoot, but not on PS4. Remember, you gotta rest sometime. Jesus, what we got left. Glad to meet you, whoever you are. 
Hope we can count on you and yours this time, because... Rude said if we don't take care... We got a hell of a fight ahead of us. Listen up. We got good news, and we got bad news. Looks like we got division agents for backup, but these guys out there, they just want to... There's your goddamn... Agent, your playmates have a sniper positioned ahead. Keep your eyes open. I'm glad I'm fighting with you. <sighs> Couldn't have done it without you.
Agent, my people say the threat has been eliminated. I thank you, my guys thank you, and the people of New York fucking thank you. I'm on my way back to the base with an escort. Let's talk when you get there. Good job, Agent. If they'd blown those floodgates, we would have lost a major supply line. Now Benitez can get back to the security wing. See you back here. Alright, I will see everyone in the next video where we will be doing the Hudson Yard side quests. Uh, if you have any different opinions about snipers, let me know. I love talking about character builds. Come on over. Captain Benita's even found some fresh coffee. Uh, I just happened to walk by what's left of Kerman's. So what we're responsible for is Midtown to Lower Manhattan, mainly because nobody can get off of this island right now, including us. The biggest problem we have is manpower, or lack thereof. Right now we got criminal elements occupying and controlling most of these neighborhoods. Rikers, cleaners, street gangs. Yeah, I don't have enough people to secure a block, much less maintain order and safety, so... Basically, these assholes are running around taking whatever they want and killing whoever they want because we got nobody to stop them. Which means we get the task of cleaning up these neighborhoods so we can at least get food and medical aid to the residents. I don't know. I mean, an area this size, this many bad guys, I don't think you people can handle it alone. I mean, no offense. I just don't like the idea of throwing you to the wolves. Captain, we are the wolves. Right. Well... Then maybe you can convince the division to send more of your guys. For the time being, what you see is what you get. I can't believe I'm begging the feds to take over my city. Any intel we receive, you'll be the first to know. Good luck. You'll need it. <laughs>